here we are going to make a lovely um, apple and blackberry crumble which is going to be a healthy version um, it's also SCD or specific carbohydrate diet friendly if that's what you like to eat by like I do um, I'm going to use some squeezy clear honey and some butter what you need to do is get your apples core them, peel them, chop them into small pieces put them in a largest saucepan uh, with a little drop of water in the bottom I'm going to put some dobs of butter on the top of that and cook that down first I have a lot of blackberries here which we picked some time ago um, out in the countryside and obviously they've all been cleaned and washed you always get bugs and stuff on them um, I've just got these out of the freezer, it looks like they're all going like steamy, which is amazing. Um, you can freeze these, they've got a high water co content so they freeze really well, they don't take very long to defrost either. Um, so I've just got those out of the freezer whilst I'm waiting for my apples to cook down. So you're going to need a, a wooden spoon, um, a wooden one is far better to use in cooking and you'll just need to keep moving that around because obviously the bottom is going to cook faster and it, it goes really mushy and that's what you want you don't want it to stay too much in these big lumps but also to get some chunks as well is really nice um, I'm also going to use a little tip that I'm going to show you using a mug like this how to make the crumble for the top so what I've done here is I've taken some um, ground almonds and some butter and just put them together to make this lovely look kind of thick buttery almondy thing which you can just get your hands in there when it's all cooked um, when the veg when the sorry when the fruits all cooked you can just get that on the top and then I like to just drizzle it with a little honey which I'll show you in a minute look at those now they're looking like almost Christmassy aren't they I'm going to take you across to the pan you can see that's coming down like right mushy now so which is lovely it's a great time to add the honey obviously no sugar in this recipe um, just the natural honey because it is a monosaccharide not a poly or disaccharide easier to digest for people with um, compromised um, systems in the gut a slight tease for you over the back there look what I've just got out of my oven these are specific carbohydrate muffins I have some which are cinnamon which are the ones you see in the front and the ones at the back that look more lumpy with bananas they're actually banana muffins and I put loads of bananas in there as well um, I have got a recipe coming up for that but you'll need to subscribe to the channel to find it um, right back to this recipe I've just turned off the heat on the um, apples I'm going to add the blackberries in and you can imagine what's going to happen it's all going to turn very red mix it in and then pop it in a glass dish pop it in the oven can you see here we've got a massive great dessert um, you can also like refrigerate it and keep it and I've got the almonds and stuff on top now I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of honey over because that goes all nice and crispy and it's almost like another illusion of that there's sugary stuff in it um, as that goes in the oven. Now to serve as a complement with this